Training with Golf All Year .com, and I had a question on one of my videos, uh, the how to video, how to set up your OptiShot on the short throw projector. Uh, I do not have a short throw projector. I highly recommend that you get a short throw projector, uh, but the question was about shadows and what the shadows actually look like. Um, the shadows don't bother me, uh, they may bother some people, but I wanted to show you uh, what it actually looks like um, and what the shadows are. All right, so uh, I turned on the projector and uh, you can see I'm standing right in front of the projector or right um, in the line of the projector and you can see some shadows behind me. I'm gonna go take my stance and uh, we'll show you what the shadows actually look like here. Uh, so here's my stance and as you can see, I can see my shadow of my stance. Uh, maybe that's a good thing that I can see how I'm lined up. Uh, but I definitely can see my shadow uh, of the golf club and, and so forth um, over on the left. Uh, if that bothers you, um, then I highly recommend you getting a, a short throw projector. Uh, my suggestion and what I really like to do is I like to get a short throw projector and put it up in front of the uh, swing pad. Uh, you can get a uh, protector. Uh, it looks really nice, a, a grass protector. Uh, or I should say a, a turf protector uh, that will protect your projector. Uh, I can put that link down below that uh, where you can get that. Uh, and so it'll protect your, your um, projector and for any shots that are hit. Uh, and it'll show and get rid of all the shadows uh, that you may see uh, as you hit. All right, so that's a video on shadows. So let me know what you think uh, and we'll... See you at golfallyear.com.